morning guys and happy vlogmas day 8 we are already one third into this vlogmases and i apologize for my house being an absolute mess but today we're gonna have christmas period chats and how not to ruin all your progress but also how to enjoy this time and relax but before we do that, I'm gonna take you with me to the gym. I am gonna be doing an upper body session once again. This week is a bit of a deload because I'm feeling quite shattered. So I'm gonna do an upper body, just doing the exercises that I enjoy the most. So I'll take you with me and you'll find out what I actually enjoy training. And then I am looking very pale and I'm heading to London. Hopefully, actually, I will be going on to London because I need some documents, etc. But anyways. Let's say that I will go be going to London on Wednesday and I don't want to look this pale. So after the gym, I will just sit in the pool there. I'm going to show you the pool is so nice and read my book for a little bit and try to catch a little tan. But I've been so terrible at it. I actually hate sitting outside and like just tanning. I love going to the beach and swimming, etc. But just tanning is not my thing. Anyways, I'll do that and then I'll come home, make some lunch and then we're gonna have a chat but for the time being i'm making a toast to have some energy for my training and i'll take you with me to the gym today we started things off with a candid shot on my ass and as always bring it up and make it look nice and juicy and then on to my first exercise which was a supinated lap pull down i am that short that i actually need to stand on the thing to bring the bar down Anyways, I did four sets of supinated lat pull down for my lats and biceps, and I did 10 repetitions for each. Honestly, this little jump down is the best part of the exercise. You might not be a midget like me, so you might not even need to do it, but I highly suggest you try, because it's fun, and we're always trying to make gym as fun as we possibly can. But once again, this would target our lats and in order to perform the exercise correctly and to engage your core, you want to take a big breath in at the top and imagine bringing those elbows all the way down and then only reset when you come back up. I superset this exercise with one of my favorite exercises for the shoulders, which is the lateral raises. So in this case, I'm targeting the medial delts. This exercise will allow you to create a nice round shoulder look. So once again, big breath in at the bottom and hold your breath throughout the entire repetition here i'm featuring my camel toe because i am a mess and there's no other explanation for it my second superset is once again a pull exercise superset with a push exercise and for my pull exercise i chose a unilateral single cable row and in this case i chose to have it supported so that support allows me to really really feel my lats this engaged the core a little bit less, however, I was really trying to feel the lats, so that's what I chose. And in this case, I did four sets of 10 repetitions on each arm. The push exercise that I chose for this superset is a flat dumbbell press. So in this case, I am targeting my anterior delts, aka the front part of my shoulder. As you can see from my workouts, I mainly work on my shoulders and my back to achieve the hourglass figure that I'm looking for. Once again, on here, you want to keep a neutral grip. That means that your palms are facing each other and your elbows are coming very close to your torso. Big breath in at the top and hold the breath throughout the entire repetition. Also in this case, I performed four sets for 10 repetitions each. My last exercise for the day was a cable up crunch. This is one of my favorite exercise to, to strengthen the core. Remember to strengthen the core, you want to create spinal flexion. And this exercise does exactly that. Big breath in at the top, really round your spine and come all the way up. I perform three sets of 10. It's now time to relax by the pool. I finally managed to come outside with my book 
and the pool all to myself so not too bad I'm gonna try to tan for like 45 minutes it's still long if I can last and then I'm gonna go home and be a boring girl with my tuna salad and then we're gonna continue our chats actually we're gonna start our chats good afternoon or good evening considering how dark it is outside as promised we are back with a little lecture so we're gonna look at what we can do during christmas if we want to maintain a progress if we want to keep on dieting some strategies and some tips first up considering you want to put a diet aside during christmas we have three different scenarios first up we have screw it all so stop training and stop worrying about your nutrition for the next two weeks during christmas this strategy might cause you a little fat gain however we know that in two weeks nothing too damaging will happen unless you literally pick it out that's the first option you have a bit more food you take a deload from training or actually a proper rest from training if you are okay with gaining a little bit of fat and feeling a little bit fluffier for the first few weeks of jan you can go ahead and do this if you worked very hard 50 weeks out of the 52 of the year you're good second option which is one of my favorites focus on training so you might stop worrying about nutrition you might enjoy all the delicious christmas food but you put those calories to good use and you train hard what does that mean that we can take advantage of all the extra carbs in our body and all the extra energy to really train hard in the gym what are the pluses of this we might gain some muscle in the meantime so those calories are not actually going to get accumulated as extra fat they can be used to build more muscle so that's an option especially if you diet quite often during the year it is great if you have a lot more calories in you to really train hard you're gonna feel the difference in the gym third option maintain and enjoy life so you are the diet however you want to maintain your progress so you literally just up your calories to your maintenance calories right now i want to go into more details about option number three let's go over some strategies that you can use if you want to enjoy your christmas period so you don't want to say no to everything that gets offered to you on an event at an event i'm sorry but you also want to maintain all the results of hard work that you put in during the year so first up we have calorie banking so what does that mean so let's say for example that your maintenance calories are 2500 but you know that when you go to an event you are most likely going to be having 3000 calories we're going to make sure that we have an extra 500 calories that we're going to bank for the remaining days so let's say you have two events per week you're gonna need an extra 1000 calories to play with you're gonna need to get this 1000 calories for the remaining five days of the week so every other day you're gonna be eating 2300 calories so every single day of the five days where you are actually sticking to your calories you're having 200 calories less so that on the two days that you have the event you can actually have 500 calories more on each event then meals before the event if you know you're going out for dinner and you're eating a lot more food at dinner what i suggest you do is during your breakfast and lunch you focus on first of all having a lot of high volume food which will be lower in calories while still keep you full because you don't want to go to the event starving and also have a lot of protein the reason being first of all is going to keep you more satiated and second usually when we go out to eat we tend to have a lot more carbs and fat and also if you have enough few drinks that's just sugar so since we still want to maintain a muscle we want to hit a protein target so just make sure that you have your lunch and breakfast full of protein number three steps and cardio we know that if you move more you burn more so one of the strategies can be to just be more active during the holidays if you're going to an event just have an extra cardio session that day it will sort you out 
I'm not saying that you're gonna burn a thousand calories. I'm not saying that. But every little helps. Is that Tesco's slogan? I don't know. Anyways, just increase your steps and your cardio. These are some simple strategies if you want to make sure that you maintain your progress during Christmas. However, guys, remember it's only two weeks. Do not stress too much about it. There's not that much damage that can be done. All I say, just do not be a pig for 14 days straight. Mainly because you're gonna feel like crap otherwise. So keep active, enjoy your favorite meals, enjoy spending time with your families. You have another 50 weeks of the year where you can stress about calories, stress about cardio, stress about everything else. Just enjoy time with your family. This is it for today's Vlogmas. I feel like I gave you a lot of information, so go try the upper body session, and also, don't stress about Christmas. See you in the next vlog.